People in charge of business development in the Minot region are looking to a U.S. Senator to keep development on track. North Dakota Senator Kevin Kramer is the keynote speaker for the Minot Area Development Corporation's annual meeting tonight. And MADC officials hope the Senator encourages people to keep pushing for more jobs and businesses. Jim Olson is live with Senator Kramer in Minot. Jim, good evening. Senator Kramer, it's good to have you here. Thanks for coming. And you're going to address the Minot Area Development Corporation this evening. What's your main message to the people here? Well, I'm going to talk a little bit. I'm going to do, get a little nostalgic and talk about my days as a development director for the state and my work with Minot. And then, I, you know, my, my main goal is to encourage them going into the future. I think while Minot certainly had some challenges as a result of, you know, the, the, the you know the Bakken sort of slumping, of course, and then the flood, obviously. But at the same time, I think we have some tremendous opportunities. So I want to talk a little bit about infrastructure. I'm now on the committee that has jurisdiction over the next infrastructure bill and uh, I think this is what Minot has to offer along with the great workforce so I want to as much as anything provide a message of encouragement. So there still could be a federal role in economic development in a place like this? Well there definitely is and there certainly is in, in some of the, the financing programs and you know passing that final appropriations bill helps all that provide some stability but then when we get to the infrastructure piece that's where the federal government has a major role in providing those assets that may Make the, the you know the private sector profitable. So briefly, you know, we hear that uh, tax refunds are small than yeah, they have been after the tax cut. I mean, can you talk a little bit about that? What, why, why is that? Well, the refunds are supposed to be smaller when you when they withhold, you know, fewer dollars from your paycheck. I mean, the perfect tax situation is one where you don't owe anything at the end and the IRS doesn't owe you anything. The, but the reality is, is people are paying a lot less in taxes, being able to keep more of their money while maybe not getting as big a refund. They're keeping more of it uh, month to month. So, uh, so far, the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act pay, paying dividends for North Dakotans. Let's talk briefly about the Air Force Base. You were there today. Space Force was authorized by the president anyway yes. yesterday. What do you think about that? Well, I think it's very important. I happen to be on the Senate Armed Services Committee. I'm the, the first North Dakota to ever serve on it. Um, one of my jurisdictions is Strategic Forces, which, of course, has um, jurisdiction over nuclear triad as well as space and um, also emerging threats. So I think the way the president did it is perfect. I think it should be under the Air Force, not a new, not an entire new division. But I'm looking forward to what North Dakotans can offer Space Force. All right, thanks for coming. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Senator Kramer with us. Back to you in the studio. All right, thanks to the senator for joining us live, and thank you.